This video explains how to reproduce and fix the ggplot2 error message continuous value supplied to discrete scale in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example data frame, as you can see in lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame is appearing at the top right, which is called data. And we can print the first six rows of this data frame to the bottom in the R Studio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see that our data frame contains two columns, whereby the first column contains numeric values and the second column is our group indicator. Now, let's assume that we want to draw our data in a ggplot2 plot. Then we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 7 and 8. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it, as you can see in line 8 of the code. And after running these lines of code, we can use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot, geomboxplot, or scalefill manual. So let's assume that we want to draw our data in a box plot with manual colors. Then we might try to apply the code that you can see in lines 10 to 14. However, after running these lines of code, the error message, error continuous value supplied to discrete scale is appearing at the bottom in the R Studio console. And the reason for that is that our fill argument was specified to be equal to our group column. However, currently our group column is a numeric column. So our grouping column contains continuous values instead of factors. So if we want to solve this problem, all we have to do is we have to convert our grouping column to the factor class. And we can do that by applying the factor function to our group column within the aesthetics of our ggplot2 plot. So if you run lines 16 to 20 of the code, you can see that our plot is properly drawn at the bottom right and the error message is not appearing anymore. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.